the PD on your plan. I'm just gonna... Okay. Okay. Sure, sure. Hey everybody, this is Josh, and I'm here with... Dina Doolin, Pre-K at Quail Creek Elementary. Adina teaches Pre-K students how to write. So I want to get that process down and hopefully she can teach everybody how to get Pre-K students to start writing. We know that's a challenge in kindergarten. Uh, it's a challenge enough in, well, 12th grade. So we start sure. them early and get them loving writing. I think this will help. So at the beginning of the year, of course, we went over letters and sounds and then Pretty, I would say like the ninth week into school, the beginning of the second quarter, we started drawing pictures and writing the beginning sounds of the, the, the pictures they wrote. Like if they drew, drew um, a pumpkin, then what, would, what does pumpkin start with? What letter says p, p? And then they would just yell it out to me then. So we would write pumpkin. Okay, what other sounds do you hear in pumpkin? And they would say U or they would say P and they would say C or they would say K. And, I would always just say, okay, let's write the sounds you hear, and then I would model it for them, and um, they would, it just kind of, that's where it started. It starts very basic, very simple, and I still have a couple of kids, not all of my kids are writing as well, but I still have a couple of kids that just get the beginning sound, but that's that's where you want them to start, and then they're going to get there too. I, I just know it. I believe in them. Mm -hmm. I have a word wall uh -huh. with all the kids' names on it in their yeah. room, and I tell them they can use their resources. I don't ever tell them how to spell anything unless it's like if they ask me how to spell their brother's or sister's names, I give them the correct spelling. The rest of the time, I just say, sound it out, sound it out, what sounds mm -hmm. do you hear? And um, then I just praise them, and sometimes it's five sounds in a word, and sometimes it might just be the beginning and ending sound. Sometimes I give them a topic, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I say, okay, like we, since our caterpillar unit and our butterfly unit, we moved on to community helpers. Ooh. So I might give them a prompt like, I want to be a, and then they get to fill in what they want to be and draw an illustration. Mm -hmm. But then other days, they can just choose anything they want to write about so they can express themselves. Like, and then we do classroom books too, like we do um, the classroom, like we went on a field trip to the Tiger Safari, so we did it, and the kids each do a page and we put it together. So we do a lot of classroom writing and we do. Um, I have a, I'm lucky that I have a whiteboard and I model writing for them and we talk about letters and words and how many letters are in this word and we talk about now what do you put between a word and some kids are getting it and some kids are still putting all their letters together but I know it's just it's all age appropriate and that they're gonna after me modeling it and then practicing it they're gonna get the, oh I, I need a space there mm -hmm. and they're even learning about the period at the end of the sentence and the question mark at the end of the sentence and I it surprised me too that they were they were just sponges and I believed in them but I am impressed at how far we've came so they start by drawing yes so, so yes because and then they start by sounding out the drawing right the first letter right the first uh, sound the first nine weeks I would say mostly it all it is is drawing mm -hmm. just drawing and then then they get to come and share their drawings and tell me about what's in their drawings so they still get to share and I just feel like that the kids are all celebrated that they're um, they're encouraged to keep trying and mm -hmm. and if they don't have a turn they're sad they, they're like I want to go there tomorrow because <laughs> they want um, their turn and yeah. then we always um, we're a GE school, so um, we always um, celebrate them mm -hmm. after we're done. We do like two claps, and then we do like a celebration. And those the clapping, the G mm -hmm. GE's great expectations? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. As long as they love it, I just want to keep doing it with them. And like I said earlier, they enjoy coming to write, and they ask, you know, are we going to write today? Sometimes we only do it in center times. It just depends on our, our schedule for the day. But other times we'll just, as a class, we'll just stop everything and everybody will write. And we get the stapler out and start stapling because they make little books. And um, as long as they love it, I'm going to keep doing it. But it seems like they write every day. They do. Okay. We write every day. And we write they take every time day. to present too. Yes. Yes. And get feedback and yes. listen. Wow. Okay. Every day. Every single day. Now that's, uh, I, for, I am a full, full day pre-K. So I know that some of you may not be, but we are full day. So we incorporate it every day. I watched their students read their stories and that was amazing. Thank you. you incorporate so many levels, the whole writing process, uh, all the way to publishing and even presenting their work and they were listening and they would read to the class and the class would give feedback and laugh. And, but what I really liked is that you would at the end say what you liked about the story. So you're also incorporating that giving feedback, right. which we know students love and that really motivates them to keep working. 
if you show them you care, they were more interested to keep doing it. Yeah. Did you notice that even the children that um, weren't, their stories weren't as long, nobody laughed at them, they were all more encouraging to yeah, the other ones? they still ones. celebrated it. I know, I know. So that's what, what's great about little kids, is they all want to do well and their peers are cheering for them too, so. And you showed a wide variety of uh, or levels of writing. Right. And then there's even one kid, this was written, uh, he wrote this yesterday, right after the unfortunate tornadoes that happened right. lately, but uh, he incorporated a lot of what he saw in the news and even incorporated like figures that he heard on the news. That's right. Which was, That's right. Which is pretty interesting to pick up on that, I, know, I, I think. And, they, and I do have, I have 20 children in my class, and so I have different levels. I have, um, for example, one that wrote about the tornado, and he drew a picture, and he wrote T-R-N-A-D-O. And then he drew his tornado, and that's all he wrote. But the child that um, Josh was referring to, he wrote a whole complete book about the tornado. We did a unit on the growth of a butterfly about two weeks ago, and I've had these hanging in our hallway, and the kids have been begging to take them home. But I have um, a student who's four, and he's at the beginning stages, and he wrote the E for the egg, he didn't write for caterpillar or chrysalis, but then he wrote the B for butterfly. And then I have another four-year-old, almost five-year-old, who wrote egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and butterfly. The whole life cycle. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> and let me give you a couple more. There's the egg and the caterpillar and the chrysalis, and the butterfly. And they're very proud of their writing. And oh, what is this, he went and corrected himself? Yes, exactly. He noticed that he had reversed it, and he fixed it very himself. Very nice. Actually, it was a little girl, but... <laughs> oh, okay. She, she um, Good for her. corrected it. You can kind of tell a girl caterpillar. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, one of the students... Um, even uh, when they were reading the story, as they read it out loud, they caught themselves and saw that they made a mistake. They said, I think I wrote that backwards. Did yes. I write that backwards? And the yes. class said, yeah. And she said, I got to correct that right now. And he just ran off to correct it. <laughs> I know. That's just know. like fantastic. I so, know. I know. I love it. And I obviously don't start teaching spelling to them. The only, like I was saying earlier, we put the resources. So like if they want to go copy a month, they, have, they see it on our, our uh, classroom board. Um, we have a word wall that has words on it, but overall, a lot of the writing is just them. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think I got everything. Is there anything you want to plug? Are you on Twitter? Do you have a Facebook fan page or no, website or no, anything? No, no. A book? I, okay. I, I think I'm one of the few that doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm on Twitter, so I will be sharing this out with everybody that follows me and in our weekly emails. So that's okay, okay perfect. Of course. After I edit it down. Well, I'm at Quill Creek Elementary if you have any questions. I'd love to love to talk to you. Awesome. So you can put your email address to Oh, uh, yes. Um, okay. Perfect. Awesome. I'll put it out there. You'll be, okay. Good. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Our great expectations. Will, so we always reward them with uh, either a clap or a... I like to do... Fantastic. <laughs> or we do a, a roller coaster one. There's many, many celebrations we use them. I like the celebrations you use to uh, do just more classroom management. Yes, yeah, with that, the quotes. Okay. Yeah, the, what was the bird? The chattering bird never catches the worm. <laughs> or builds a nest, as a girl pointed out. Yes, that's right. <laughs> we, we say it both ways. We say it both ways. There's another one, too. Well, one thing I tell them sometimes when they say, I, and I do have a few, I don't want you to think everybody's saying, some of them will say, Miss Dillon, I can't, I can't. And I say, all things are difficult before they are easy. And the kids will say, yes, yes, all things are difficult before they're easy. And the more you practice, the better you get. I love that because I think, uh, you know, as I go out, it's one of my beliefs that struggle 